a full-time artist and over the years I've used so many different platforms to make websites to sell my art online. I've used Shopify, Etsy Pattern, Big Cartel, and even the WordPress WooCommerce extension. So when Pixba reached out to me to sponsor a video, I was curious. I mean, could they really offer artists a way to design a website easily? So I thought I would put it to the test. I gave myself one hour to create a fully functional website. Now I'm going into this as though I am a beginner artist, so I'm not going to be bulk importing a lot of products that I already have uploaded to another platform into Pixba. I'm going to be creating the products from scratch because this is what beginners would be doing. And also I'm going to limit it to 10 total products. This is because in general, beginners don't have lots of artwork to upload to their website at first. Also, it's going to allow me to ideally keep this within the time constraints of one hour. I'm going to upload a range of different products from art prints of various sizes, as well as originals, and even some postcards. So that way we get to try out all of the features. And I'm going to use PayPal as the payment processor. However, I'm not going to connect a domain to it. They give you a free subdomain that just automatically comes with it. They also give you one year of a free domain when you sign up with them, but I'm not going to attach a domain to it because we're really just doing this as a test. I would say though, just in general, attaching a domain to a website that you create on any of the platforms is very easy. It'll probably take you five to 10 minutes to do it, whether you have already purchased your domain name elsewhere, or you're going to take advantage of the free domain Pixba gives you. Also for full transparency, when Pixba reached out to do the sponsorship, I did log into their system and look around for about 10 minutes. I just wanted to make sure it had the features of a website builder for artists that would be really good for us. And it does, and it's super affordable. And that's why I decided to agree to this project and sponsorship. But other than that quick preview, I have zero experience using Pixba as a website builder. And that's why I wanted to go into it like this for this challenge, because every artist who is starting out using this platform will have no experience. And I wanted to see if it really is usable and is going to work quickly because we all have very limited time. We need to spend our time making art, not making our website. But we also need the website to be really good, functional, able to sell things and look amazing. So the first step right when you log into Pixba is to pick a template. Now I'm not going to spend a lot of time doing this because I need the time to actually set up the website. And I figure as long as the template is set up for selling art, then it's a good one. So we are selecting this one. It says a handmade goodness. Of course, I'm going to change that, but you can kind of see some of the initial features that it has. I liked this one because it has a section here right on the homepage for products to be for sale. I'm calling my website Animal Art Safari because this is the same name of my art fair booth. So I thought it would go well. We need to add a different banner. I'm going to go through some of these fairly quickly because well, we don't have a lot of time. <laughs> I need to figure out a lot of things that are text for my website, like slogans and anything that's descriptive. When in doubt, go to ChatGPT because it can help you brainstorm some things. Now, this isn't always the best suggestion. I mean, honestly, it's better to make up your slogans for yourself, but we are trying to do this in an hour. So I'm using ChatGPT to help me speed this up. To start moving this along, I'm going to go into the gallery because I think this is going to be a quick win. And since the point of this video really is to see if I can make this website in an hour, I'm not going to be showing you every step of the process. This isn't intended to be a tutorial, but I am going to show you some of the highlights. And giving you a time check, I've used 12 minutes so far, so I got to get moving. I'm going to start by adding my cat mug first. This has a bunch of images and a video that I took of my mug. This is a mug that you can make using print on demand. I used Printful for this. I like this for the main image, so it already has that in there. Now I did not upload the video as it looks like, so I don't know if we can upload videos. I'm going to look into that, but it has the ability to upload all of the pictures. Overall, it's really easy to use this platform to upload your images and your text. It also gives you lots of features. Like if you want to add SEO, so that way you have good titles and descriptions so the search engines can find your art online. 
you can do all of those customizations on here. You can add drop down menus for anything like sizes or types, styles, and then you can have them priced at different things like you would for art prints for different sizes. And just an update on time. I'm about 30 minutes in and I still have to do the contact us page. I have the online store, the shopping cart about halfway finished. And I'm also still playing around with the about us page as well as the homepage. So I've got a lot to go and I'm relying fairly heavily on ChatGPT for all of the text throughout the site because it's helping me speed things up. One of the things I discovered as I've been hunting around though, is that you can have a newsletter embedded on your site, but PixBud does not give you the functionality to send out newsletters through their site. So this means that if you want a newsletter, you're going to have to use Use something like MailChimp or Kit to operate that newsletter for you. So that way you can send your newsletter out to your subscribers. Still, you can collect the emails on there very easily, and it's not too hard to connect MailChimp or Kit to Pixba to be able to do this. So it's not a huge negative, but it is something to keep in mind. So now I have all of my products made finally, and I have about 10 minutes left, so I have to hurry on this. I have to finish configuring the rest of the settings. I have to do the payment methods because if we're gonna sell anything, we have to be able to accept payment. We're gonna do PayPal. All right, we've got that set up. That took just a couple of minutes. Next, I wanna go through here and just see if there are anything that I need to change because oftentimes when you're making a website, you, oh, image quality and watermark. We're gonna do web optimized for the size, but I would like, Ooh, right click protection enable. Yes, I like this because I want to protect my images. Add a visual watermark. Yes, I think I don't mind how that looks and we're running low on time. If you wanted your watermark to look different, you could spend a little extra time on that by maybe downloading an image. But I like the idea that my website would be protected like this without having me manually add the watermark to every image in something like Photoshop before I upload it, which is actually what I do currently on my Shopify site. <laughs> so this is a really nice feature. And now we're done. It took me right at an hour and five minutes to complete this entire website, which is amazing. I can hardly believe I was able to do this. I was rushing. I mean, I could have spent more time on certain things and especially with using chat GPT to write everything. <laughs> I think it would be better not to do that probably if you're making your own website. But now let's take a closer look at the finished result. You can see it looks really nice. Got some of my products on here on the home page. Featuring my postcard set. I'm gonna go up and look at some of these products. Okay. You can see it says $20. This is the eight by eight inch and then 25 and then 30 for the 16 by 16. I used the same description here on all of my art prints because they were all the same sizes and I needed to make this quicker for myself to upload all of these. One thing I'm noticing is that my watermark is not on here and I was never able to figure out how to get the watermark to show up on my images that are for sale in the shopping cart. Um, let's go ahead and check the gallery. You see, I was able to find a little box that I could check in the gallery settings to add this. As for the shopping cart, I don't know, maybe it's there, but I just couldn't figure it out in the short hour that I had with this. The About Us page, it also looks really good. But again, there are no watermarks on here and I wish there were. I mean, it would be amazing if you could just click that one button on the back end of the site there and then the copyrighted or whatever you wanted to put on here, just a copyrighted symbol would show up on every single image across the whole site. I'm sure they don't do that though because some people might not want the copyrighted image on everything. So it's good that it's customizable, but yeah, I just couldn't figure out where to turn it on in the store. I do like the way the store looks. You can see these ones. There are a lot of images down here. In this one, my mug, I had that video I wanted to upload, but I never could figure out how to do that. There may be a way, like I said, but since I was doing this in such a quick amount of time, I had to move on to other tasks. 
But if I didn't have a way to upload it, what I would have tried to do is just add a link to it and upload it on my YouTube channel as an unlisted video, and then people could click the link to watch it. So that would be a workaround. People can contact. One thing I don't like is up here, my name is written. I think this has to do with the domain name that's associated with it and that there really isn't one. I'm sure there's some way to get this off of there. I just couldn't figure out how to do it. And it would definitely look better if it didn't have that. Down here on the bottom, you can see it as well. Now, I did not add any custom headers and footers and they had that option in there. And so I'm assuming that if I would have had the time to add a custom header and footer, this would have been able to disappear. Nonetheless, if you're a beginner artist and you're just trying to figure out how to design a website, or maybe you've been pushing off designing your website because it seems too difficult. I mean, this is a really simple option. You don't need to know how to code. You can use it really with no experience at all because I didn't ever use the platform before this. I mean, I've designed a lot of websites though. So I had a little bit of a step up beyond someone who's never designed a website ever, but still it's very easy, especially when you're comparing it to a lot of the other popular platforms out there. Like the one that I'm using currently, Shopify. Shopify is a kind of a little bit of a learning curve because there are so many features. But Pixpa, although there are a lot of features, it's easier to navigate and use them, and it's more affordable. The link to Pixpa is in the description if you wanna try it out. They have a 15-day free trial, so you don't even have to put in your credit card to just try it out and see if the features will work for you. You can upload a few artworks, try out their different templates, just see what you can create. If you do decide to sign up, if you use the code EPIC, you'll get 40% off a one-year plan or 55% off a two-year plan. And once you have your site built, you might need to know how to promote it because if you don't bring traffic to your website, you're not going to sell anything. And the best way to do this, I think, is with social media because you can post content everywhere for free. If you wanna learn more about that, check out this video. All right, thank you so much for watching. Hope this helps. See you next time.